Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sam and I review tech stuff. So a quick word before the video actually starts, a huge thank you to all my subscribers, all my friends and families who have been supporting me and subscribing. We currently hit a milestone of 6,000 subscribers and I'm really, really grateful for that. So I just want to say a huge thank you for everyone who has been supporting me and subscribe and clicking that subscribe button down below. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. So in this video, I'll be doing a little mini build of a something called like a dump pad or a numpad. pad. It's called the CTX Studio and it cost me around 25 US dollars or around 100 ringgit. So it's like a macro pad which you can program to wherever you want and it has three knobs on it. And I hope you guys like this content and let's get this build started. So this keyboard or this dump pad comes with two packs and we'll be checking out the first one first in the bubble wrap. So this is the dump pad itself. We have 12 slots for switches which you can use as a dump pad or whatever you want to do with it. Then on the right side we have three dials, two small dials, two rotary knobs and one big knob right here which are quite nice and they are all pressable which is really nice. It comes with this stack, um, I don't know what you call this, stack glass or carbonate. And then on the back, it has the name CTX Studio, as you can see. Pretty nice build and you can get like printed cases for it if you want to case it up. But I'm going to be using it like this. So it's a hot swap PCB and you can see it's not facing 5 pin and it's really interesting. So this is the board itself. Now let's take a look at the accessories they give. The accessories they give are on this bag. So first things first, we have the card to check out. You can go to this website to download their software or you can scan the QR code right here. Nice. Next thing we have is a type C cable, which is braided actually braided type C cable. There's the name. Type C to USB A, pretty long, very nice. Then we have small things in here. Let me just pour it out. So first thing we get is this. This is a switch puller, which is pretty small. I wouldn't recommend using this. It's too small. Next thing we get is some feet. So these are just some rubber feet. You can stick to the bottom so it make sure that it doesn't slide around. And last but not least, we have the screwdriver if you want to unscrew it and mod it yourself. So that's everything you get. Now let's put in some switches and see what I'm doing with it. Right, for the switches, I'll be using these. These are some Echo Matcha Greens. They are a linear switch and they're really smooth out of the box so I won't be lubing them. So you're gonna need, of course, 12 switches and I'll be putting it in and let's check it out. You know, before I put the switches in, let me just plug the board in and show you guys the RGB on this board. So this is the RGB. I've configured it a little bit so you can increase the brightness with this and change the modes with this. This is the RGB dial. It can go very bright and it can go all the way down to off, which is really nice. And then now let's just put in the switches and see how it looks like. Right, so this is what it looks like with all 12 switches in. Now let's plug it in and take a look how it looks like with the RGB. I think the green doesn't really affect it unless you're going to use white color. So it's really nice. I'll be mainly using this as my F1 to F12. So I'll be using some keycaps on it. And then let's put in the keycaps now and take a look. For the keycaps I'll be using, I'll be using this monochrome keycap set that I got from Shopee from the seller Yongchu. So I'll put his links down in the description below if you're interested in getting this set. Let me just get the F1 to F2. So I have all the keycaps now installed. They look pretty nice in my opinion, especially with this black and white combo. I will definitely be changing out the switch, uh, the keycaps in the future, but for now this looks really nice. So the software they provide is really good, where you can configure literally everything on the board, from the 12 switches here to these 3 knobs, which is really nice and interesting. 
it is in Chinese. I'm not sure if there's an English version for the software, but it works really nice if you go to the website and download it. And I guess it's time for a sound test. So yeah, that was it for this little build video of the CTX Studio. Hope you guys like content like this. Uh, overall, I think that it's a really interesting macro pack which you can program on and it also has three knobs which you can program as well. I've been using it for the past few days and I think that's a really nice addition to your setup especially if you're editing videos and photos and stuff like that. So yeah, if you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, dislike this video. If you're not subscribed yet, get subscribed. Thank you guys for so much for 6,000 subscribers again. I'm quite happy that I hit that milestone. And as always, I'll see you in the next video and goodbye guys.